Gadgets Field Trip. We're going on a visit. Inspector Gadgets Field Trip. Come on, let's go with him. Inspector Gadgets Field Trip. What's that you ask? What is it? Inspector Gadgets Field Trip. Well, no one wants to miss it. Ignition sequence start. Five, four, three, two, one, zero, and liftoff of the Space Shuttle Endeavor. Hey, wait for me. Oh, hello there. Inspector Gadget here on my way to our most far out field trip ever, outer space. You can't get farther out than that. And we're going on the Space Shuttle. Actually, I'd rather go in the space shuttle. But whatever. Wowzers! The view is out of this world. Oh, we are out of this world. We're on the moon. How did the first man get to the moon? It all began down on Earth, on Florida's space coast. So grab your rocket socks and hang on to your helmets, Earthlings. It's time to get spaced out. If you're a space case, Florida's Space Coast is your cup of liquid oxygen. It's got everything you wanted to know about space and the world's only Space Shuttle Launching Pad. But why is Space Coast USA on the east coast of Central Florida? Aside from the terrific view, Florida has lots of open space. Uh, no pun intended. And good year-round launching weather. Besides, being near the ocean is good for collecting dropped spare parts. In the early days, this is where the space capsules came down. For hundreds of years before the Space Coast existed, mankind dreamed of flying to and landing on the moon. Actually, getting to the moon is the easy part. This is what we thought it was going to be like. Back then, it was anyone's guess. You have to go beyond the Earth's atmosphere and break free from the Earth's gravity. Gravity is the force that keeps us on the ground. Wow, I always wondered how that worked. In the 1930s, scientists invented modern rockets that could fly high into the sky. Rockets work like balloons, noisy balloons. They are pushed by the force of the air, leaving them. Rockets help send the first living things into space, like Ham the chimpanzee, America's first astropet. It wasn't until the 1960s that very powerful rockets enabled humans to fly all the way to the moon. The astronauts traveled at speeds up to 25,000 miles per hour. So did their rocket ships. The mission of the spacecraft known as Apollo 11 was definitely the world's most historic field trip. The Eagle has landed. That's one small step for man, 
One small trip to Florida, one great field trip for Inspector Gadget. Astronauts Neil Armstrong and Edwin Buzz Aldrin were the first people to actually walk on the moon. If they were the first men to walk on the moon, does that make the lunar surface the first astroturf? There were five more Apollo missions to the moon. Astronauts explored the surface of the moon in a buggy called a Luna Rover. The rover is still on the moon today. Over the years, astronauts brought back about 840 pounds of moon rock to study. I wonder if they got charged for overweight luggage when they got back. Meanwhile, back at the Space Coast in the Astronaut Hall of Fame, you can check out such exhibits as astronaut Jim Lovell's in-flight suit from the Apollo 13 mission. Jim's not wearing it anymore. He thinks it's still at the cleaners. At the Astronaut Hall of Fame is a G-Force simulator. In it, you can experience some of the tremendous force an astronaut feels when breaking through the Earth's atmosphere. Wowzers! Hold on to your lunch! This multi-axis trainer is what the astronauts used to help deal with the disorientation they felt as they tumbled through space. I feel disoriented just looking at it. Would you believe this is the world's youngest astronaut? Would you believe the world's shortest astronaut? How about the only one that fits in the cockpit? Actually, this is another simulator at the Astronaut Hall of Fame. The force of gravity on the moon is one-sixth of that on Earth. Because of that, astronaut Alan Shepard hit a one-handed golf drive a quarter of a mile. Welcome back to our field trip in outer space. I mean to Florida's spectacular space coast. It's time to suit up and get on board for a launch at Kennedy Space Center with the crew from the Space Shuttle Endeavour. Forget about the launch. When's launch? which stands for the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, got tired of making new rockets every time they wanted to go into space. So they invented the reusable space shuttle. Then they can reuse it and not lose it. The space shuttle must point upward and face the sky in order to blast off. Otherwise, it drills itself right into the Earth, which makes for a short flight. This is the greatest show on Earth, but not for long. It's leaving the Earth any second. People come from all over the world to see this dramatic event. rides piggyback on a super rocket which carries it into space. Two minutes after launch, when the shuttle's traveling almost 3,000 miles per hour, its two rocket boosters fall to Earth. Hey, watch out below! When the shuttle astronauts finally get into orbit, they spend every waking moment eating compressed space food. Exercising under compressed conditions. Performing incredibly difficult scientific experiments in a weightless, precarious environment. And loving it. Extra vehicular activity is a fancy name for spacewalk. Spacewalk is a polite name for flopping around in zero gravity. 
astronauts used to be tethered to their spacecraft by a life-supporting umbilical cord. Today, they roam more freely through the cosmos with a kind of life-supporting bionic backpack. Hey, it's a rocket-powered banana. Rule number one for eating in space, don't talk while you eat. Unless you want to share with your co-astronauts. Things are a lot lighter up in space. For instance, this mere 1,200-pound satellite can be tossed around like a volleyball, though you can only score points on your own surf. This is a space shuttle slumber party. This is not the time or place for sleepwalking. Wake up, astronauts. Everybody out on the street for volleyball. Uh, re-entry. Approaching the runway, the space shuttle doesn't use any power. The space shuttle must land like a glider, so the astronauts have only one chance to get it right. Endeavour is rolling out on runway 33 at the Kennedy Space Center, completing its 11th mission in space, 161 orbits of the Earth, traveling 4.1 million miles. Touchdown! Phew! Another successful shuttle landing. Well, Earthlings, hope you had a blast in space and on the ground at Florida's Space Coast. Go, go, Gadget Field Trip! Do 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 do